Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. Last time we left off, we had a long talk with Detective Bad, and he gave us a lot of information regarding like, the KG-8 incident, and how exactly he's related to you, and uh, Faraday, and, and just a bunch of other stuff, and I think we have a better understanding of uh, what happened back then, and just about these relationships that were built. And now, uh, he left off where the judge called us in to hand over the, ev the evidence of the trial to us, so let's take a look at the evidence right now. Oh, it's you, Mr. Edgeworth. <sighs> it appears that his honor is still a bit dis dispirited. For the first time today, I experienced what it's like to stand at the witness stand. Oh, and now I have a greater appreciation for just how hard it is to give testimony. Well, there's no reason for you to be all depressed about it, Your Honor. As a judge, no one expects you to think about anything other than a verdict. For Ziska, there's no need to further depress His Honor. But I'm not trying to, Miles. Your Honor... the uh, Your Honor, I've come to collect the evidence that was, was to be transferred to me. He... Your Honor... The evidence? I, uh... Your Honor! No! Uh, you! Yes, can I help you? I'd like to collect the evidence now, sir. Your Honor, do you think you can stay focused long enough to, add, add, to at least do your job? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. As I would, except for the defense attorney has yet to arrive. She's busy with the investigation. So let's keep this brief, shall we? Very well. In that case, we can please confirm that all the pieces of the evidence are present. Furthermore, the evidence that was, where he, that was used in the murders of Mr. Faraday and Mr. Rell are also included, so please go ahead and use them in your investigation into, your, into their case. Understood, Your Honor. The pieces of evidence that were used in the murder of those two men. This could be a very good chance for me to find leads regarding their evidence. A case, whatever, I don't know what the hell I said. Maybe even uh, something that will finally lead me to the truth. I place all the evidence over at the prosecutor's bench for you. I see. Thank you very much. Uh, I will go and confirm that they're all accounted for. Alright, okay, let's take a look-see at the evidence here. So this is the evidence related to today's embassy trial from Mr. Faraday's bag. From his bag. You mean the evidence bag that was on the table in lobby number two, right? Yes. Finally, we can take a look at the evidence itself and not just data about them. Let's be sure to thoroughly examine them while we have the time. Agreed. I want to take a good look at... Of uh, at all the evidence from the embassy murder as well. Why is that? Because I still don't fully understand what today's trial was about. Gah! Don't put your crop in me just because you don't know something. And don't you try to order me around just because Papa chose you today. I see someone is still sore about not being picked by Mr. Von Karma. It's all so real to see the knife up close. So, we have the knife, the gun, an envelope. What's this organizer doing here? Oh, that's right, I completely forgot to tell you. About what, Your Honor? I found Mr. Faraday's personal organizer inside a evidence bag of his. Detective Bear requested it be passed along to you. He said it would be it would help the investigation. Detective Bad said that? What a strange stroke of luck. Well, never took never look a gift horse in the mouth. We might as well flip it flip through it too. Never look a gift horse in the mouth that's a new saying. Okay, well, I guess we'll go for this one by one. So first off, first off, let's examine the gun here. This gun was originally used to kill the embassy staff member. When the crime was reported, the responding police found Mr. Rao still holding it, which led to his immediate arrest. And then, this gun took the original shooter's life. How ironic. Indeed. There doesn't seem to be anything else we can learn from this piece of evidence. Okay. And how about the knife? It's a knife that was used to kill Mr. Faraday. Who would have thought that such a beautiful piece of art could be used for such a cruel act? It's never crossed your mind that you, that you use your riding crop for the wrong purpose? Oh, jeez. Alright, and now let's take a look at the uh, organizer. Organizer here. Mr. Faraday's organizer. It appears he was in the habit of using it. It looks like he wrote his strategy for getting Mr. L convicted down in here. Can I go through this or? Oh, okay, we'll read that a little bit. 
It appears that Mr. Faraday honestly believed that Mr. L was the killer in the case. Sound of the damn! I, didn't, I should have just read this from the beginning. Sound of the handgun going off was recorded with superb clarity of surveillance video. Also, everyone said I can use a proof that Rell is not the Yadagarasu. Okay, and it would also appear that he had proof that Mr. Rell was not the Yadagarasu. No matter how we, he may try to play it, as long as I have the Yadagarasu's key, I can prove he's, he's a phony. I presented to him in court, which should clear everything up. Hmm. And apparently, he also had a very definitive piece of evidence. It's been a long battle. I hope that this will finally bring it to an end. Yes, I believe that Mr. Faraday was well prepared to discredit any claims Sorel may have had, uh, may have made about being a real Yadagarasu. And he had, and he had a way to prove that Mr. L is a guilty party in the embassy murder. This organizer is a clue straight from Mr. Faraday. I'll have to take my time to give it a thorough read later. Kind of dead, but I kind of want to go through the first one, first page. Look, there's a picture struck between, uh, stuck between two pages, or these pages. It appears to be. Key. A rather ornate one at that. Ornate, whatever. Just look at the design and the handle. The craftsmanship is superb. Could this be the Yadagarasu's key Mr. Faraday mentioned in his organizer? The Yadagarasu's key? Detective Bat said something earlier. It's different about this time. Was the evidence related? Okay. Ugh. Man, my freaking neck. I had a long day. <sighs> Your cat's health, jeez. Yes, we know all this. We saw it in the last episode. Yes, we know. We, we knew this time. We sent it to the police. I go right to the mass media. All right. And there's something. On... Okay, so only only a few knew about that. So Faraday must have been trying to keep the secret key safe. As a prosecutor on both the Yadagarasu and smuggling run cases, that's to be expected. Huh. Okay. Hmm. That's odd. What is it? Mr. Faraday didn't mention anything about a knife in his organizer. That certainly is odd. The weapon that was used to kill the MC staff member was the gun. But if that's the case, then where did a knife that was used to murder Mr. Faraday come from? Isn't it obvious? It was brought into the courthouse by Mr. Rella. That's the only logical conclusion, right? No, because it's not that e it's not that easy to smuggle a weapon like that in here. Every person who enters the courthouse doors is checked thoroughly for contraband. Furthermore, the suspect was handcuffed, making it impossible for him to bring a knife as large as this inside. In that case, how do you suppose? <sighs> Sorry, God. How do you suppose the knife ended up inside a courthouse? It is kind of hard. I need to think clearly here, carefully here. There's something related to the knife, to related to the knife written anywhere in Mr. Faraday's uh, organizer. Nothing related, whatever. However, it is a fact that this knife came from Mr. Faraday's evidence bag. Conversely, there is one item listed in Mr. Faraday's organizer that no one has claimed claimed to have seen today. So, in order to solve this mystery, I believe I will need to take another good look at the evidence. Miles Edgeworth, can I take the fact that you have yet to answer me to mean that you don't have an answer for me? Actually, I do know the answer, Francisca. What? Then what is it? One of the pieces of evidence we've been holding has been hiding a secret of its own. It was through this piece of evidence that the knife was brought into the courthouse. So, he said something about this piece of evidence was not mentioned at all. And, well, I think that actually falls under... This the key. No one brought it up before, but something does seem. It, I mean, it's oddly shaped. So, but I don't know. Something seems familiar about it. So I think this might be it. The Sierra Garasu's key, Mr. Faraday mentions in his organizer. This is how the knife was brought into the courthouse. You're not making any sense, Miles Edgeworth. Hmm. <laughs> You just need to take a you need to take a well, you need to look a bit closer, Francisco, to see what I mean. Don't the color and ornamentation of the key's handle remind you of something? They do remind me of the knife. Very good. Both the Yagarasu's key in this photo and the murderous knife 
had this very unique design in their handles, which is what I thought. Mr. Faraday, even though, furthermore, even though Mr. Faraday mentions the Adagirasu's key, the only object we found at the crime scene was the knife. You don't seriously mean to say... It appears that you've finally caught up. And yes, I do mean to say that these two pieces are, in fact, one of the same. But that's impossible! Even if that, even that, if that is what you believe, we still, uh, we should still probably investigate this probability. Ugh. Now then, let's examine this life in a more, a little bit more detail. So the knife, huh? Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, you guys, take a look at that. No, 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 I didn't want. Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. I can't believe it turned into a key! To think such a thing, uh, such a trick to this thing. So the weapon used to kill Mr. Faraday is actually the key the Yadagorasu stole. This piece of information is more critical than anything we've learned up until now. Man, okay, that's very interesting. Frankly, I'm shocked. <sighs> Why am I yawning? Oh, jeez. Mr. Faraday only mentioned the key aspect of this piece of evidence in his organizer. It's possible that even he had no idea the key was hiding a knife blade inside. But if that's true, then only someone who knew about the key to knife to the key to knife trick could have killed Mr. Faraday. Even among law enforcement, this key was top secret. We're looking for someone who knew even more about the key than even Mr. Faraday, meaning that the only person it could be who uh, could be is the one who sent the key to uh, sent the key. Ooh boy! The one who sent the key in, in the first place. The great thief, Yaragarasu. Then maybe Mr. Ralph really was the Yaragarasu. And he was the one who killed Mr. Faraday. Isn't that one possible scenario? No, not really. Especially since Mr. Faraday was absolutely convinced that Mr. Ralph was not the Yaragarasu. Besides, as Detective Bad said earlier. Um, and, oh yeah, the whole thing with the. Card, he didn't know what the hell they were talking about, which, you know, if he was a real Yadagarasu, he would have known. It's his calling card. I see. Alright then, I guess the person who knows the trick behind this key is someone else, and that person is the real Yadagarasu. Hmm. It seems that this key is truly the key to solving the case. Seems like it. Huh. Finally, we have this folder right here to examine. I took a quick look through these documents before the trial started. Well, I wasn't even aff um, afforded the opportunity to skim it. Hmm. I suppose I should explain to you that. Yes, you should. Perfectly in its entirety, if you please. On the night of September 8th, an embassy staff member was killed in front of the embassy. The staff member died of shock due to being shot in the heart. Mac Rowell was brought in that night as a suspect and thoroughly questioned because a murder weapon was found on him for which he was arrested on the spot. A simpleton of a man, that's what he was. Hmm. Perhaps he was, for the weapon was, wasn't the only incriminating evidence we had. Sorrell was caught in an act of a fi on film by a security camera. He was, even, he was an even bigger a simpleton than I thought. I can't believe he didn't even notice a, s a security camera. The MC security system is supposedly very well designed. You may have simply not been aware that there was a camera in the area. So, have you seen the contents of the video for yourself? Yes, the surveillance video the security, security camera took was played during the trial of Mr. Faraday. You can clearly identify Mr. Rell on it. Even the sound of the gunshot was crystal clear. So the footage included sound, huh? I don't think I've ever wanted to see the amount of someone's the, see the moment of someone's death in real life. Me neither. That's odd. We're short one piece of the evidence. And the piece that's missing is a surveillance video that was played in court. The surveillance video? How could a piece of evidence just disappear? Where did it go? The video showed the moment in which Mr. L committed a murder. Where could it have gone indeed? Are you done with your inspection of the evidence? Yes, I'm finished. However, Your Honor, I am missing a single piece of uh, prosecutor evidence. Your Honor, were you, um, derelict in your duties? What? Uh, no, I dare not lick my duties. Uh, what do you take me for? 
No, Your Honor. The most important piece of evidence in today's trial, the surveillance video, is not among the evidence you laid out for me. Hmm. But I brought Mr. Verde's whole bag with me from the crime scene. Maybe the tape is still somewhere at the crime scene. Maybe. There's something wrong here. Something about this missing piece of evidence. It would appear that for me to find the answers I seek, I will have to pay another visit to the scene of the crime. Defend the lobby number two. And... Hey! Who is that person? Perhaps we'll find out next time, guys. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth. I'll see you guys later.